Hi everyone, this is Darcy. And did you know that LED light therapy can help you revert and prevent sun damage? If you wanna hear more about it, keep on watching. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a lots of great, great information for you guys. And all the research is gonna be on the description box below under sources and research. So you guys can read further if you want to learn more. Because this is a very interesting topic to me because I do have a lot of sun damage. It doesn't look like it because I do use LED lights, which does help re revert it. But recently I found a lot of great research that talks about LED light therapy helping prevent it. Obviously, I just wanna start off by saying that you cannot use red lights, you know, just red light to prevent some damage. You do have to wear your sunblock, which I'll talk about some of my favorite ones today as well. And we are live, but on this video, I always have timestamps below at the end of the video. So you can jump anywhere in this video after for the replay. So you, you're going to have a lot of great information. So feel free to use the timestamps to jump anywhere. I'm also going to be featuring the Adoro LED mask, which is right behind me. And it's not a sponsored video, but this mask has a lot of the settings that I'm going to talk about. It has a lot of different lights that we're going to talk about it that can work to prevent and also revert some damage. So hang in there, look at the timestamps below, grab a cup of coffee, and let's jump right in it. And also, I would love to um, start off by talking about some... Oh, yeah. Before I forget, guys, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. My channel is all about aging gracefully, being healthy and happy. So I'd love to have you here if you like to join our beautiful community. And I love doing these lives because we can all hang out and talk about so many great things. So now let's jump right in it. And when we talk about sun damage, let's say, what is sun damage? Sun damage basically damages your skin and it comes from overexposure to ultraviolet UV light. When we sunbathe, our skin naturally responds to the sun by protecting itself from UV light. What does our body do? Well, it produces melanin, which darkens the skin to reflect the UV light. So your summer tan is actually a defense mechanism. And sun exposure and ultraviolet, ultraviolet UV damage is cumul cumulative, guys, and happens throughout your life. And research shows that sun damage contributes to more than 90% of wrinkles. It also contributes to precancers and cancer skin lesions. So it's important to know that sun damage doesn't all, not always just produce wrinkles and dark spots and even melasma, which we'll talk about in this video as well, but also can cause cancer, skin cancer, which is really common. So when you talk about sun damage, it's more than just cosmetic. It's actually a healthy thing to be aware of. And I wasn't my whole life, guys. I did not wear sunscreen just basically in my 40s that I really start taking more seriously, but I'm lucky to be using LED lights on my life, you know, consistently to really help to revert the sun damage. And I have seen a lot of great reverting of the sun damage from my LED lights usage. We'll talk about on this video. But I wanted to start talking a lot about the actual sun damage, how it happens and how LED light is related to it. So you can understand more how this therapy is effective to prevent. And just a quick overview, LED light is a type of light that penetrates your skin in different levels and helps with sun damage, wrinkles, collagen, dark spots, and many things according to the light strength that penetrates your skin, which we'll show the graphic today. But I wanna start showing the actual sun scale because the sun, just like LED lights, emits all types of radiation. It, anything above 700 nanometers is called long wave and anything below 700 nanometers is short wave. And I wanted to show you this so you can pay attention to actually the wavelength of the sun because the sun has a light that penetrates the skin at different levels as well. So you can see UVC, UVB and UVA are sort of on the, the ultraviolet scale. And there's the visible light and there's also the infrared, which we'll talk about it today. And I'm showing you this graph because I want to compare two LED lights. And LED lights also penetrate the skin in a different level, but it doesn't have the UVA, UVB. It doesn't have any of the bad, harmful sun rays that we have. So when you expose yourself to LED lights, you're not harming your skin. You're only getting benefits according to the depth of the light and it and the color, which we'll talk about on this video as well. So you can see here, the different levels of LED lights and also different color levels. And you can see the red and infrared goes from 650 to 950 and all the other levels. Pay attention to that because we'll get back, we'll get on it right now to explain why uh, LED light actually helps prevent some damage and revert it. And 
basically how red, red light therapy protects the skin from sunburn. Basically, red and near-infrared, which I showed you on the graph, are light frequencies that the range is between 630 and 940 nanometers. This spectrum of red and invisible light is emitted by red light therapy devices, but are also abundantly found outdoors at sunrise and sunset, guys, which is why the sky looks so red at those times. And you can see the red light therapy devices emit the same spectrum of light at the, as the sun during sunrise and sunset. And this is an interesting concept that I recently found out and I have all the research below and we'll go over the research really quick as we talk about why this actually works. This everyday natural occurrence is thought to help to precondition our skin for the harsh UV rays found in higher amounts around noon. To test this theory out, scientists isolated part of the skin and shown various non-UV lights frequencies to each individually isolated segment, the first area received no light, as you can see from the graph, and the second part received blue light, and the third orange, the fourth red, and the rest increasing frequencies of near-infrared light. And you can see, and you, I have all the research, so you can actually see the images in the research as well, but they expose the skin to different light frequencies, just like LED lights, and in 24 hours later, the same patch of skin was exposed to the sort of harsh UV light that is common at midday, and the results were really astounding, guys. Basically, the results were really amazing. The no light patch burned pretty badly, and the areas pre-exposed pre -exposed to blue light did not do much better, so blue light doesn't really prevent some damage. However, as you move from red to near infrared, the burns became significantly less severe, and that's pretty amazing. I really enjoy reading this research, and it's on the description box below if you want to go further deeper. These results demonstrate that sunrise times are important for preconditioning our skin for the midday sun, therefore, these red light therapies and LED light devices bathe, bathe in the create a photoprotective wavelength of light that one gets a sunrise and sunset. So they will prepare your skin for the harsh midday sun as it shows in this study. And this study is very interesting to me for the simple fact that we do have natural red and infrared light in the sun. However, you cannot just sit in the sun to get the benefits or LED light therapy. As it is at a specific time of day, which is early morning, which is also beneficial for vitamin D, and late in the evening, when you see the rays, which I'll show the graph here, which you see the rays, it looks very red. But the problem with exposing yourself to sun in general is that sun also has UVA, UVB, which can be harmful. That's why red light therapy is the best uh, type of light that you can use before you sunbathe to actually prevent your skin from burning, but that doesn't eliminate the usage of sunscreen, which can, you know, add to it. So now during the summer, this is a great thing to know if you have red light therapy with in near infra uh, with infrared light therapy as well, which we'll talk about it today. That way you can help prevent it. And this article was amazing. I have in the description box if you want to go deeper into this research, but there is proven research, again, as you saw uh, on this information, that the wavelengths of red light and near infrared helps to prevent your skin from burning further, obviously using sunblock. On that research, they did use 15 sunscreen, I think, uh, but on the areas that had the sunscreen but were not exposed to red light therapy, which is here, I'll, I'll go back, the areas that were didn't, did have 15, uh, uh, 15 sunblock, by the way, but they were not exposed to red light therapy, you can see that they got the most burned and the, the ones that were exposed to sort of blue light were also more sunburned and the ones exposed to red, red light therapy with infrared as well as having the 15 sunblock helped to have less sun damage. So this is really interesting information for you guys, which proves that red light therapy does help prevent sun damage at a certain extent. And we're also gonna talk about how it does it, does it help to Prevent, um, repair sun damage. So this is a graph that shows that the benefit of red light therapy from sunlight is maximized when your shadow is taller than you. So this is just a graph and showing this is the scale of the sun that I wanted to show you, which also show the shadow at different levels. And you can see from this graph, again, talking about nanometers, the infrared light and red light on A, as well as E, which was the, when you have the sun, basically the tallest shadow, is early morning and late in the evening, you are actually exposed 
to the good rays of sun. But again, it since we have so many UVA, UVB, and you know, with the sun, it's not ideal to get a red light from the sun because you can also get harmful. So that's why resorting to red light therapy is the best thing that you can do because you are using a light that is safe for your skin since it is made to give you the benefits of red light therapy and infrared or, or other different spectrums too, which I talk about on my channel. I'll also leave the, time, the playlist on red light therapy, which I talk a lot about benefits and other things because on this one, I want to specifically focus on sun damage since we are in the summer now and we can use this information to help prevent and reverse sun damage. Another thing I want to talk about is that red light therapy and near and infrared light therapy, near infrared light therapy, is proven, as I showed you on this research, to help prevent some damage if you expose your skin to, you know, the, oh my, let's say to your LED therapy light, which I'm actually going to go hiking today. So I'm going to show a demo on this video as well, because I want to prove that fact by putting the red light therapy before I put my sunblock and going hiking today and have less damage. So you can use it before you go to the beach, before you go hiking to help prevent further sun damage, but also don't forget to use your sunblock. So that is a very interesting fact. And red light therapy also helps to reverse sun damage by the same effect, which I will show you on the graph again, which is uh, the different colors of red light therapy, which usually red also goes deeper into your skin, which helps to reverse some damage, help re produce collagen, also helps with dark spots and a lot of the wrinkles and all the effects from some damage. So you can use the red light therapy regularly to also prevent. And it doesn't mean you need to use the red light therapy right after you go in the sun. You can use consistently to get the benefits for reverting. However, using before your sunscreen or before you get exposed to the sun helps to prevent even more damage and using regular on your daily, you know, depending on the light therapy that you currently have. This is for any light therapy. I'm using Adoro as the example because it has 11 settings and seven true light colors, which we'll talk about other light today besides uh, red and in near infrared that also helps with sun damage, which I'll talk about it now. But you can use this applies for any LED light therapy that you have. So it's interesting to try that to use consistently. So using consistently, you help reverse some damage using before you go to the beach or before sun exposure, it helps to prevent it. And an interesting fact is that another um, type of sun damage that happens to a lot of people is melasma. And I want to talk a little bit about melasma because when you're talking about melasma, you have to be careful which type of LED light you use. And that's why I'm going to bring it up other colors as well. Because if you have melasma, which I will show you right now, melasma is a skin condition that creates a very deep hyperpigmentation. It can be related to genetics, hormones, medication, pregnancy, or even there's research talking about blue light from our devices also causing melasma. Um, you know, this is just some information in general. But a lot of times pregnancy and hormones are usually related to melasma and it can get triggered by sun exposure. So when you have melasma, you can use many different things to, you know, get rid of melasma, but it's really, really hard to get rid of. And one important thing I want to show you and talk about in this video is that if you have melasma, unfortunately, you cannot use near infrared LED lights. And I'm going to talk about the research why uh, right now. And there's a lot of different debate about it, but this research is really interesting. That's why I want to share with you guys, because I want to give you all the information you need to get the best results. So if you use red light therapy and near infrared have a melasma, there has been research that light emitting diodes at, again, 830 and 850 nanometers, which is on the range of near infrared, as I'm going to show you here on the graph. See, the range of near infrared is above 850 usually. So it's something to keep in mind that if you have melasma, this research shown that having the range of 830 nanometers and 850 nanometers can actually aggravate melasma, amel ameliorate hyperpigmentation from melasma. So it is not advisable to use near infrared red light therapy when you use melasma. And that's why I want to show the difference and talk about the Adora mask because with the Adora mask, you can actually just use pure red and you can also use 
pure red with near infrared. So if you have melasma, make sure you get a mask or a device that can let you choose. And you can use, if you have melasma, just red, which is the range of 650 before you reach 830 in general. That is just pure red, which we'll talk about on this video as well. And if you have melasma, it is very beneficial to use green light instead of near infrared. Green light to anybody can use it truly, not just people that have melasma, but it's a light that is not talked about it a lot. And I want to include in this video specifically for people that have melasma and want to use LED lights. For people that have melasma or hyperpigmentation too, guys, not just melasma, very deep hyperpigmentation is not advisable to use near infrared red light and make sure you ask questions on the chat if this is not clear but in a nutshell most uh, led masks have the option of just one setting which is usually red with near infrared or red with infrared so if you have melasma or very deep hyperpigmentation you can use red light but you should not use near infrared light because it goes into a deeper spectrum above 830 nanometers that can actually aggravate your melasma or aggravate your hyperpigmentation. But if you use just pure red light, which is usually 630 and goes like to 750, um, the range of the nanometers, which means how deep it goes into your skin, that you can use and that can be beneficial for your hyperpigmentation and melasma. But if you include, if you have very deep hyperpigmentation and melasma, if you include green light therapy, you can even have better benefits. But if you don't have melasma and you are somebody with very light hyperpigmentation, you can use near infrared or infrared. I do have some and it didn't aggravate it, but I'm specifically talking about people with a lot hyperpigmentation, darker skin too, and people more prone to deeper hyperpigmentation and melasma that you can use red light, pure red light and green light, which I'll talk about right now, why green light is beneficial. So green light therapy helps to reduce dark spots and hyperpigmentation by decreasing the production of melanocytes, the melanin forming cells found in the lower levels of the dermis. And this is such an interesting, and I have all the research below too, and this is a graph that I, um, I'm i gonna talk about it right now that can visually see how the actual green light works to help with hyperpigmentation. And this is in general, not just hyperpigmentation from sun exposure, but in general, we have hyperpigmentation because of sun damage. So the melanin absorbs the green light that the device emits. As a result, the body recognizes the melanin particles that the light breaks down and disregards them, leaving you with a clearer skin and lighter skin tone. And and that's one of the reasons I'm gonna be featuring the Adora mask because the Adora mask has the green light therapy has pure red and has an option to use red with infrared besides 11 settings. So there's a lot of great masks in the market, but this one has a lot of settings to choose from. And I wanna, especially a lot of the people that have this mask, so that way you can use to, to the full benefits. But reading this research really got me thinking about sun damage and better ways to tackle them because I do have a lot of sun damage and it has gotten better by my use of LED light and gotten, you know, not not have worsened because I use LED lights on a consistent basis. And I'm going to show you a before and after, not mine, but of, of an Adoro before and after from sun damage using the mask for four months. So this is a really good before and after because it shows that it helps also with the redness and inflammation because sun does inflame the skin. So this is a before and after found online. This is not me, but it's a good example of which kind of results you can get with LED light therapy. This is the results from red and um, red light therapy, pure red for four months. So it does take some time to get rid of sun damage. It does take a long time because again, sun damage is something that is cumulative and it gets cumulative for your whole life. Uh, years ago, I had those photos, you know, the photo that can see the sun damage and I really want to do another one down the line. You can get them in the dermatologist and you can see underneath your skin the extent of sun damage that you have and mine was very extensive because I did not used to use sunscreen at all. At some point in my life, guys, I used to use olive oil to go in the sun when I was a teenager, I loved to have a tan, and now I understand that tanning is basically your body protecting itself. Not, I mean, it looks nice, but after the tan fades, the wrinkles and dark spots, and unfortunately, even cancer can happen. So this is really important to try your best to use sunblock and use red light, ther red light therapy and LED light therapy green or red or near infrared to help prevent and revert it. And I want to talk a little bit about the settings of the Adora that I suggest you use. And then I'm going to talk about some blocks as well that I love. So 
The Adore Mask has 11 settings, and the settings that I'm going to be talking about is setting number one, which is the wrinkle reducer, and then also setting number eight, which is combining, uh, it's called Skin Booster, which combines um, infrared with pure red, and also the setting number three, which is the green light that we talk about it. And the wrinkle reducer setting from the Adora Mask uses the na uh, the nanometers, the wavelength is 620 to 630. So if you have melasma or even also melasma or rosacea or very deep hyperpigmentation or darker skin, which are more prone to hyperpigmentation as well, you should use pure red. And a lot of masks offer, I mean, they offer combined, which I love if masks start separating them and giving two settings. But this one you can use on setting number one, just pure red, which is the wrinkle reducer. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll put it on my face because today I'm actually going in the sun. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this right now as well as a prevention. So setting number one is the wrinkle reducer, but if you have different other LED masks, you can still use this information. It is the range between 630 and 620 and 630 nanometers, and this range helps to combine fine lines and wrinkles, increase collagen production and blood flow, is anti-aging, speeds up scar healing, and promotes skin rejuvenation. So this setting also works for wrinkles, also works for sun damage, and is safe for people that have melasma or deeper hyperpigmentation. So if you have that, you can use this setting. The setting number eight is the skin booster, which I'll change here. I'm gonna change, press it here. And it's all down. Skin booster, again, looks the same because it's just red and you cannot see infrared light, so it looks red. So on this setting, which I usually use with no problems, um, this is, can be used for people that have light hyperpigmentation, you know, or are, want to prevent hyperpigmentation because it's a deep anti-aging and cell reparation because it's supposed to go deeper into the skin layer and is also helpful for wrinkles and fine lines. But if you have melasma, or if you have you, deeper hyperpigmentation, you should use the green setting, which is setting number three, and is the light strength is 515, I mean, depth is 515 to 525 nanometers. So it's a more superficial uh, penetration. And, uh, and as I talked about before, what happens is the your melanin, you know, the dark patches absorb the red light, and it helps to break them apart and eliminate those hyperpigmentation is also really beneficial for melasma. To, in the treatment of melasma, you, it's good to combine that as well. So the green setting is an amazing setting to use for if you have hyperpigmentation and melasma. So that is one of my favorite settings to talk about because it's something that is not talked about a lot. And I've been incorporating more the green setting into my skincare routine as well. And as I mentioned before, not a lot of other LED masks have this setting, which is a good setting to add to your skincare routine to help prevent as well as combat that. And is safe for any skin types, any skin tones. And I want to go over a little bit about um, more about the green light setting just in case you know since i showed the the mask to kind of go over a little bit what i just explained or how the light actually penetrates and again anybody can use the green setting and that is really beneficial for people that have melasma or just high pigmentation and it has a lot of great great benefits for for your skin in general so as i mentioned before the melanin absorbs the green light and that the device emits and the results, the body recognizes the melanin particles and the light breaks down and discards the melanin, leaving you with clearer skin and light in, in a lighter skin tone, a more uh, even skin tone. And it's a really good setting to use if you have hyperpigmentation and also suffer from melasma or you know, even rosacea, it does help with redness as well. So the green light is something that is specifically to the Adora mask, but you can also use pure red and a mix of pure red with near infrared to help with your sun damage to prevent it. And just an overview, if you want to prevent sun damage, help to use before your exposure to the sun. And if you want to revert it, it's good to include LED lights, you know, red, near infrared, or green into your regular skincare routine. It doesn't mean you have to use it right after the sun, 
it means you have to use in a consistent basis if you want to repair some damage. But what I wanted to, come, you know, share with you guys, which is a new information I found through the research on the description box below. There's lots of research if you want to go deeper into this topic, but it's really awesome that you can use red light to help prevent further damage. But of course, you have to combine it with sunscreen and sun protection. By itself, you're not completely eliminate some damage or prevent it, you have to use combining with some protections. And I'm going to talk about some of the sun screens that I've been loving right now. And one of my favorites, which I talk about on my channel a lot, is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. And this one I love because it is very, the consistency, it doesn't make you feel greasy, it doesn't smell like sunscreen, it almost feels like a primer. Let me show you here. So it kind of mats your skin a little bit and uh, you can even use under makeup. See how it just kind of smooths out the pores and it's really easy to use and it just looks like you kind of have like a nice um, veil over your skin and very important to use after, you know, before, 15 minutes before the sun. One recent sun skin that I'm in love, which feels like a moisturizer and is actually SPF 50 and the unseen sunscreen is a FPF 40. This one is from Beauty of Joson and is the Relief Sun Rice Probiotic SPF 50. Let me see if my light can get it. And we'll go to the chat soon. So if you guys have any questions, please write down on the chat. And, uh, and this one, guys, I want to show you how lovely it is. This is one that I recently found. I got on Amazon.com. And I'll put all the links on the description box after I'm done with the video as well as timestamps. So you can see this sunscreen is really, really lovely and it's like a cream and it feels almost like a serum in a gel. So it applies to your skin so nice and it doesn't leave a white cast and it doesn't even feel sticky. It absorbs completely and I love it. That's one of my favorite ones lately because it's moisturizing, has also rice, it has highest rice and probiotics, which is really good for your skin. So that one is really good. Another great sunscreen that I've been testing out lately as well, which does not leave a white cast, is the First Aid Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide. is a broad spectrum SPF 30. This one is also lovely because it does not give you the white cast. Let me see if I find a part of my arm and put it on my here. This does not give you a white cast. Let's see if I can show you here. I'm going to show on my arm, but it's for the face. And it has like a nice, let me spread here for you guys. See, it's completely, I got here. It kind of evens out your skin a little bit too. It's moisturizing, but without being sticky. And it doesn't smell like sunscreen. And it doesn't feel like sunscreen and it doesn't give you the white cast even though it's a mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide it has special ingredients to you know for good for the skin as well as to make it completely transparent so you don't feel like sunscreen and again sunscreen is really important for sun damage to prevent it and i started using too late in my life so those are the ones that i love the most right now and let me know on the comments below your favorite sunscreen as well because i would love to check them out i love trying different sunscreens and my favorites are the one that doesn't feel like sunscreen because that was one of the reasons that i have so much sun damage because i did not use sunscreen until probably my 40s i'll be 46 next month guys and i feel like honestly my personal use of LED light therapy has really benefited me because I often, I try to use sunscreen the best as I can, but I'd be more consistently now in my 40s. And before, I definitely did not use it enough. Again, as a teenager, I used to go in the sun, try to get the beautiful suntan that lasted very little, but the damage lasts for a lifetime. And now I am enjoying to try different sunscreens and actually use them. But I'm so excited to share this information that you can actually use LED light therapy to prevent it as well. And today I'm going hiking and I'm definitely going to use my red light therapy right now to prevent the sun damage. So if you guys have any questions, please make sure to put on the comments. Ask me any questions you like about sun damage, share your stories as well, and give me suggestions of sunscreen that you have been enjoying right now because with the summer coming up, I like to pack up on sunscreen and have ones that I enjoy using it without causing any damage. And I do have a coupon code for the Adora mask 
which is Brazilian Girl Channel. So if you're interested on the Adora mask or if you want more information about it, I also have a whole playlist on the Adora that talks about being good for acne as well, even hyper, you know, hyperpigmentation, as I mentioned today, but also um, broken capillaries, which I'm testing currently, and anti-aging with 11 settings and seven lights plus in near, plus infrared. You can actually use this mask for a lot of different things. I've been talking about this mask for years. I had this, you know, I purchased the mask a long time ago, gifted to people, and Adora sent me this one since I gifted mine to my mother-in-law, which she loves and uses. And I love this mask because it gives you so many options of lights and there's not many um, LED lights with the green setting so if you're interested in that setting this mask they have that plus 11 other settings that I talk about on my channel so I'll leave the playlist on the description box below if you want to check that out and I will go to the chat really quick right now and I'm actually going hiking with my family so if you're catching this after the playback after the live is done Please make sure to put your questions on the comments and I come back to answer them. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all so much. I hope you're healthy and safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.